Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming, here doing another GTA Online video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys why you should buy the MOC, why it's a good vehicle, and stuff like that. Um, I think my helmet's glitched, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it. Um, can I change it? Can I change my outfit? There we go. So I'm gonna show you guys um, the MLC, all the different things that you have. I don't have it fully upgraded, so there's certain things that I don't have. But um, I'm gonna show you different things. So of course with the MLC, you can drive it around. And I mean, for its size, it's pretty fast. I mean, as you can see, it's not terrible. It's going at a pretty decent speed um, for its size. I don't believe that you can detach the cab. Oh, you can. Okay, you can detach the cab so you can drive around with just this, which I assume will make it even faster. Test that out right now. I'm gonna remember where that is. Uh, it looks like it might be the same speed, maybe a little bit faster. So that's nice. Go back. Okay, and you can probably reattach it. Uh, you should be able to reattach it, but you have to do it at the right position so that it doesn't, like, break. And... Boom. And you can come in here. There are MLC missions that you can do. Um, I'm not sure if I have those, but I can check. There are MLC missions that you can do where you can get uh, a pretty... I think it's a pretty decent amount of money. I haven't done it in a while. I know for the terabyte one you can get money. I'll do a video on the terabyte too. But I'm not sure how much money you get from this. So you can make Mark II weapons here. And then... Um, can I not become one? There we go. Okay. Okay, so you found the terminal. Yeah. This is how you run ops you out of this mobile ops center. Mobile Budgets operation aren't what center. they used to be, but we've still got a ridiculous amount of money to spend on cool toys. Or, I mean, operationally appropriate hardware. When jobs become available, click accept and we'll get you started. You'll be maintaining the global order while driving the most state-of-the-art weaponized vehicles available. And any equipment you use gets discounted on Warstock. And that's because we trust you. So this is a good thing you're doing. Very good. Yeah, so you heard him. Um, so I'm guessing you do missions to... I haven't actually done these, but I'm guessing you do missions with these cars. Or to get these cars or whatever, and then they'll become discounted. Um, it's a pretty decent amount of cars and a plane. Uh, really, I'd go for this, and then I'd go for this also. But that's just what I would do. Um, you can also hey come in here again, and there's uh, Mark II variants of stuff. I'm not sure if I have the storage or if I have the um, sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm not sure if I have the storage or if I have the upgrade station for vehicles, but I guess I'll test it. Um, basic. Sorry. Basically, there are certain vehicles that you can't upgrade in Los Santos Customs or in Binnie's. Um, so some of them you might have to upgrade in the MOC. Some of them you might have to upgrade in the terabyte. So I would call on my oppressor. Um, but I think instead I'm gonna call in my vigilante just because um, I don't know if I have full upgrade for that even though I don't I probably Would don't have the money wheels? to get them my vigilante is destroyed so yeah I'm gonna call my okay, oppressor. I got stuff to do that's the wrong oppressor uh, that's the oppressor for the 
uh, Tesseract. So, or not the Tesseract. Wow, I just said the complete wrong thing. Okay, my Mark 1 is destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and call it this guy. More Girl. Mutual. We're here to help. They, I can do that. Okay. Um, and then here. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. I'll get there as soon as I can. It's gonna spawn in. Okay. Don't talk about that. Anyway, um, if I put it in here. Modify this vehicle. Okay, so I do have a modification. There's also a storage version where uh, you put in the back of your uh, MOC, and I think it can be almost any type of car. Uh, I think it can be anywhere from a sports car to this. The um, the Vigilante, and as you can see, it's basically the exact same as uh, Los Santos Custom and stuff like that. Um, but the difference is that in this, you can get things like the weapons. So, this comes with a minigun, but you can upgrade it and get a missile. Um, I think you can also make a bulletproof. Which I think you can do at Los Santos Customs. I think it just depends. Uh, different windows. And that's basically it. And then I think you can exit the vehicle and get out. But uh, it won't actually store in there. It, I think it'll stay in there for a little bit. I'm not sure. I haven't actually done that. But eventually it will transfer back. So for me it'll transport back to my facility. So let's go ahead and load. And still load? Okay. My puppers are tired. Okay. Um, I think those are all of the features. Uh, I know that if you go to your bunker, this that's where this is stored. You're gonna need a bunker for this. Um, if you go to your bunker, you can upgrade the, or you can change the cab color. Uh, you can add more armor. You can do stuff like that. Um, so you can basically upgrade this like it would be a car. Um. And I think you can change the color of the cab too, I'm not sure. I I actually haven't done anything with the MOC. Um, because I think that it's actually really good the way it is. Um, if I can show you some of the motivation Modifications, not motivations. Um, let's go to MOC. There's Bay 1, which is living quarters. And then you can change it to a command center, which costs more money. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. So, there's the Phantom Custom, and then there's the Holly Custom. It's basically just uh, different. I think it's just a different thing. I don't think it adds any armor. So, this um, goes in a range of useful color schemes just because you're in a bright death on the. Just because you're bringing death and terror to any corner of the globe that takes your fancy doesn't mean you don't deserve a few. Uh, creature comforts. So basically, um, I think this is like a sitting area where you can chill out. And then this is, um, so this gives you an exterior turret, um, which you can use and you can command it from there. This one's vehicle workshop. Um, and then you, or you can put a living quarters or just an empty bay. And then this one's the same thing. Uh, if you get the vehicle workshop, it takes up both of these. Interior color, you can make white. Um, I don't even know what color that is. I think that's brown. And then you can keep changing it, which is, I guess, okay. I like the white most, though. Um, and that's really it. You can change the color and upgrade it, um, kind of. Or you can upgrade it like a normal car, I mean. If I remember correctly, I haven't, uh, as I said, I haven't done any upgrades on it. 
Uh, so, all that I know is the stuff that comes on the Warstock cash and carry. But, um, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Wait, I have to tell you guys the price of that. Um, because. That's just how this works. I can't see the price. Oh, and now that this random guy has killed me for no reason, I guess I can say this. Um, the... I think that the cab actually only takes one rocket normally. But I think that the rest of it actually takes a few. I think that the rest of it's actually pretty sturdy, if I remember correctly. Um, like, I can shoot at this with a machine gun. Or a minigun, I mean. And that does like nothing. I guess I'll just get right under it. And then if I go to the cab, I'm pretty sure that the cab is pretty easy to destroy. Maybe it's not. I remember one time I destroyed it with one, uh, with one sticky bomb, which was really weird, but I think that it takes just barely less than the cab does, or than the back does. But yeah, as you can see, they, they're both pretty sturdy. Um, it's just that the cab is just barely easier to destroy than the, um, back. Especially considering, you, as you saw, you can easily die. You can just get shot right through the window. Boom. One kill. And then all they have to do is put, uh, put a bunch of sticky bombs on the back. Or a bunch of proximity mines right in front of it so they can drive on them. And then you're dead. You are unable to access the mobile operations center in this area. Okay. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you really liked it. If you're kind of on the fence, um, but you do like daily uh, GTA, or not daily GTA, but daily Red Dead and Modern Warfare videos, and now I'm kind of trying to do daily uh, GTA videos as well, please do subscribe. If you didn't like it, please do tell me why down in the description below. Your feedback helps me, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.